Welcome back to the grand finale. Did I just get out of the shower? No. Love summer, not the heat. Today is going to be a great video. What you are going to see is all this beautiful chopped up carbon that took about two hours. Two hours to cut. Very long time. And I was using a uh, the guillotine too in order to do it. But it's going to be a fun video. Let's do it. When you want to get off the darkest ground The gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see this too When you want to get off the darkest ground So what you're about to see is going to be the span of two days and it's gonna be a time lapse of cutting up this beautiful carbon fiber. This is how you're gonna make the forged carbon look, which is gonna go here. So that was yesterday. What you're gonna to see today is sanding this down. I'm gonna trim up some of the edges, time lapse all that, cause that's boring. And then I'm gonna do some segments probably without the time lapse, so you can see how the forged carbon is gonna get laid on. This is, this is so exciting. I can't wait to see what it's gonna look like done. But without further ado, Let's just get into it, because this one might be a long one. This has been such a long, but an amazing process. Uh, so this is where we are at now. It looks really, really good so far. Once all of this is sanded down and then a coat of gloss will be put on uh, to finalize it. But 
I just want to give everyone a really big thank you for, for watching this process. So this is like my first kind of series part of the build, which is starting off with the fender. Um, and really, we didn't run into that many that many problems, which I'm, I'm happy with. And by the way, just for everyone that, that is interested in doing a process like this, when you go to some of these big companies... You pay a few thousand dollars per part, you know, and like I I'm just someone that really likes to find another alternative a different solution to to doing that and on top of that It's it's entertaining. I love doing stuff like this. This is just kind of my personality uh, But all in all, I mean we're under 200 bucks for parts. I mean You would have to take a different precaution when you're taking off whatever part you're trying to do So if you're trying to do your fender as well you have to be really careful with your fender because I'm in a situation where I would have repainted this anyway. This car is going to be repainted. So this, I didn't really care if it stripped off any of the paint or some of the primer uh, like you see it is. But you do have to be careful. Take a different step in order to do that. Um, there's plenty of how-to videos out there to be able to do that. But I'm in incredibly excited on how this has, has turned out. So I have one more step which is what you're about to see, which is me putting on the peel ply. And the peel ply is a release agent, basically. It's a fabric that's going to take all this. So if you look at it, you're going to see some little things sticking up, and it's just going to compress it all the way down. Now, again, another part, if you were going to really go crazy and, and spend, like, the thousands to be able to make your own parts, you'd use the whole vacuum seal and, and all that stuff. I'm not doing that. I'm just doing this how I want, you know, and it's the cheaper way. And it's something that I personally just find more fun. I've loved doing this. This is, I was so happy to, to just get into this process, but all right, without further ado, here's the rest. So that is it. It is wrapped up. So that is going to be the end for today's video. This is our final product where you can really see the different variants when you get it from the other angles. It has come out so good. I want to thank everyone so much for watching because this has been such an awesome experience. Uh, the next video is going to be me taking off the peel ply. And then I'm going to sand this down and we're going to take it from there because we might need to do another coat of the gloss and just touch up some of the little spots if there's any spots where you can see through. And then it's going to get sanded one more time if I need to. And then it's going to get gloss. And that is going to be the fully completed Forge Carbon Mark IV Super Fender. Thanks so much, guys. See you in the next one.